everyone. Today's video is going to be about getting feedback. Okay, so um, I've been doing a lot of uh, YouTube videos the last couple of days instead of Facebook because I've noticed that Facebook algorithm that seems to be you know very peculiar. In the in the beginning, when I didn't do Facebook lives on public for a very long time, I was getting a lot of viewership, uh, and suddenly you know uh, all these people were texting me saying that. You know, I didn't know that you did a Facebook Live, I would have jumped in. Uh, and the truth of the matter is I'm making this, these videos exactly the same time every day. So it doesn't make sense that the viewership goes down. So anyways, uh, if any of you are content creators out there, you know, it's a very, very good idea to do a live stream on YouTube instead because the quality is better. But if you did a Facebook Live, you can always use like uh, application like YouTube made, download the Facebook Live and then repost it. Uh, on on YouTube for additional views. It's like evergreen views. Um, in Facebook, it's kind of it's kind of annoying because you know, like you really need uh, a bunch of you really need a bunch of face uh, you really need a bunch of like Facebook likes. You need like shares, comments to keep the thing up on the air. Uh, but anyways, I'm just making this video uh, because I just want to kind of like experiment with alternating between YouTube and Facebook. So today I'm going to be talking about getting feedback. Um, getting feedback, uh, like for improvement in particular, because uh, let's say you know, how would you know that if you, how would you know that you're you're doing something right or doing it wrong, or if you're if you're improving or not without getting feedback? Uh, getting feedback is important for any area of improvement, whether it's life, personal relationship, family. Uh, even trading as well. As you guys know, I run, uh, you know, a trading group called the Binary Lab. So um, there may be a lot of traders on this video. So I just want to reach out to those people and you know talk about that. Getting feedback is actually very important for your trading too. Okay, and the feedback that I'm talking about is feedback that we get on very different levels. Um, hey there, if you just jump in to watch, I'm talking about uh, feedback and getting feedback to actually improve any aspect of your life, including trading, family, uh, you know, something that you're working on as a trade, profession, whatnot. So uh, the feedback can help you on many different levels. But what kinds of feedback are we looking for? Okay, we're looking for response feedback as the beginning. Response feedback is the instant confirmation that whatever you're trying to do and experimenting with is working or not. So response feedback is the kind of feedback that you get. Let's say you know uh, what gave. In fact, what gave me this idea uh, on making this video was because the other day, um, like as you guys know, my, my kids uh, you know, are are in that in that uh, kind of hard to control age. And basically, what happened was that you know uh, rather re getting into the rebellious stage. So my son. Uh, he was uh, being a little bit difficult. He he basically doesn't doesn't greet people unless he's told to, and I'm not only just being told to. He has to be told a couple of times. On the other hand, I contrast this with my daughter. When let's say you know when I gave her, uh, I, I gave her like uh, you know two coins to buy some snacks in school, um, and then she was like, "Thank you, daddy." But at the time, I was busy driving, and so. I, I didn't actually hear when she said that. So I, and then she said it again. It's like, thank you, daddy. So I said, oh, well, you're welcome. And I, I told my son, did you see what your sister just did? Because that's exactly, that's exactly what, uh, you know, you, you should be doing. You repeat until you get a response that you desire. You, you, you repeat, you ensure that the person uh, knows that you're looking. Because my son has, has to argue and say that, um, well, I already, I already greeted, I already greeted. Why didn't you do that again? Well, come on, your teacher didn't hear you. Come on, grandpa, grandma didn't hear you. Well, that's that's why you need to do it again. Um, and then, let's say you know, uh, when it comes to asking for stuff, asking for help, um, like when it goes, when we go for buffets, I tend to tell my uh, my kids that well. Okay, I'm going to do the initial orders, and you see what you like, and whatever you like, you go back to the waiter or the waitress, and you order some more of it uh, yourself. And and it, and then, um, 
they're like, um, why do I have to do it myself? I said, well, because it's training. I want you to improve. So my daughter would go there, and as I, as I shown you in the earlier anecdote, you know, she just goes there, says it, until she gets the response she, she wants. Um, we moved to Thailand, uh, you know, like over a year ago, and obviously the main language here is Thai, and my kids were only beginning to speak Thai like more fluently in the last couple of months, but still the accent's not quite down yet. So my daughter n understands, but people not necessarily understand her. So when she goes to the buffet place, she just repeats, you know, uh, in, in her inaccurate accent until they get it. My son, on the other hand, he would just say it once. And it's like, if, if, if they don't know what he's talking about or they ignore him, then he would uh, he, he just he'd say, well, maybe they don't have it anymore. Uh, then I said, well, did you try? Did they understand you? Okay. So this, the same thing is in trading too, response feedback. Because... How do you know if something's working or not until you get a response? Some people be like, strategy doesn't work. I said, did you try it? I tried it. How many times did you try it? Once. Is once enough to get a response? Then I said, okay, tell me about that one time that you tried it. Um, what exactly happened? Um, sometimes, you know, someone would say, well, I tried it, it was a losing trade. And I, I stopped. Then I say that, uh, you got a picture? No. This brings us to the second point. Okay, number one, you didn't get a response feedback, all right? Number two, uh, his uh, little attempt, or rather his lack of an attempt to try, did not leave him with even any evidence that he has tried that I can look in to help him to give him positive suggestions for improvement. So we have the response feedback and we also have you know suggestions for improvement as well. These are both very important areas. So I said well, okay you gotta go and try it today, uh, try it again try it a couple of times well it, it doesn't hurt to do it on demo if you if you're if you don't want to I mean you're not even doing you're not even doing dollar trades you're doing demo trades so what's stopping you from from doing it again and again right what's stopping you you could just th there's no loss to your account and you're not even doing anything at a time you already set aside half an hour to do this why did you stop at one trade so look out for the next setup, the next setup, the next setup. And if anything at all, just, you know, you can all, he could have also got feedback by looking at previous setups that previously occurred and said, you know, is this right? Did I get this right? Did I get this right? Did I get this right? The people who lose out the most in life are the people who assume. They assume rather than actually uh, get feedback or ask for confirmation they just think it's that way they would just uh, well I, I think I got it right some people you know it, there could be various reasons some are shy some have the ego uh, you know some just uh, don't want to look stupid they think asking looks stupid and they think that you know uh, by asking one question less it makes me smarter than the person next to me who asking a lot of questions but it's not that way, because if you don't get feedback, you don't, you don't know how you're actually performing. You don't know how you imp how you can improve. And I give you another example. So, um, there, I I'm not sure about you, but I have this problem, and I'm working on it. Okay, so when I communicate with my spouse, uh, we often have like minor arguments about along the lines of like. Uh, she would say, "Why did you? Why did you? Why didn't you ask? Uh, I don't. I don't like this particular thing. You know, you could have asked me first. Why do you have to assume? Why do you have to make a decision? Uh, you could have checked. So, well, uh, in my mind, I was thinking, well, the last time 
the last time it was like this, and you said this, and and the other time, uh, when it was like this, you said that, and based on the other time. So based on those various experiences, okay, I concluded that it's going to be this. And she was like, "Who are you to conclude? Why didn't you ask me first? You know, the situations are different. And damn it, it's true. With women, you cannot formulate a one-size-fits-all formula because, you know, for whatever reasons, women are just women are just like that. <laughs> uh, but the thing is, if you're a trader following my channel, so is the market." You know, it could be like this one day, like this the next day, like this the next day. So, in order to really hack it, in order to really hack what the market is trying to do, so that you can respond to it properly, you need to get feedback and and actually understand the underlying mechanisms uh, of everything. And if 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 you cannot ask for confirmation. So, for instance, like before I, my traders hit into the market today, and, and my traders in Binary Lab, uh, I, I mean my Forex group, my Binary group, whenever they hit into the market, I tell them that before you start, do everyone this favor of looking through the last 500 bars in your chart, okay, and seeing like how would this work out for today. This is the most recent feedback we can get from the market. They will tell us information of will this strategy work today and how many bars will this strategy work for and for instance are we able to take a bigger or a smaller profit target per trade today and would that be worth it to us or not so there's a lot of information we can get but we have to confirm that we have to get feedback and we're not doing this by assuming you know the when when you assume and your assumption is right good for you but if you assume your assumption is wrong and then you get a little bit startled and then then come the next surprise the next surprise the next surprise and men will know that when you get into an argument with a woman who's pissed off about a couple of things you know it's just going to be one surprise response after the next and it's just going to be very hard to make your way through just like when the market surprises you with a scenario that you didn't expect okay you didn't do any form of planning or analysis and you got surprised with something, and then uh, at the end of it, you know, you at the end of it, you just you you just got defeated because you know when you're it it's like you know if you play tennis or any sport, right? You may have a certain style of play. Maybe you slice more. Maybe you top spin more. Maybe you hit the ball flat. But one day you get some guy who not only uh, place a style you don't like he keeps changing the style about so that you can't seem to find a rhythm and when you can't get a rhythm you basically destroy yourself and so it's so important so important you know to get feedback that if you're trading to know what you're doing is is right or wrong and what how you can improve it if you're in a relationship you're trying to uh, or let's say you're trying to improve a relationship with a particular person uh, you don't know what he he or she likes or dislikes, or you find that, well, you just seem you can't seem to crack the code. Well, you if you cannot crack the code by observing and and, and kind of like uh, assuming, then just ask. Okay, just get the feedback by asking, and and after that you can also say you know how did you like that? Well, isn't it true that sometimes you go to a steakhouse, um, like maybe you go to the steakhouse once a week but this particular steakhouse they have this habit although you order the same thing every week you may notice that over there it could be that they have a system to gain their, their staff to ask you um, how did you like your steak today how was the sauce today how was the doneness of the beef today what could we do to improve and it's the same thing it's the same as sometimes when we hear something from someone they call it the telephone effect because when you tell uh, we hear from someone you tell the next person that tell the next person by the end of it by the end of a few people the the, uh, the amount of truth left in the first piece of information could be 
because it could be sensationalization, sensationalization, sensationalization. At the end of it, you know, what you get is a fraction of the truth. And it's the same thing if you assume and assume and assume. You look at your spouse's uh, response today, you assume that she had a good time, but maybe the time that she had today was not the same as last week because, you know, for whatever reason, maybe the music in the mall sucked today, maybe the, the, the sales in the, the shop showcase weren't as attractive. Um, and, uh, you know, there could be a lot of different factors out there that could have made, you know, today's experience worse than last week. Okay? But if you didn't, if you don't ask, like, uh, how, 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 how is today? You know, how, how do you, how, did, did you like it at this place, this place? How was it compared to the last time? Right? Without getting these feedbacks, how on earth are you going to know uh, how to improve on next week? And if you continue to assume there comes a problem with destruction when you know the rhythm is lost, the, the rhythm between you and your partner is lost, the rhythm between you and your in the market that you're trading is lost. Don't you ever find it that sometimes when you're trading, you know you resonate so well with the market that everything you do just just you know just clicks, and then you're making winning trade, winning trade, winning trade, winning trade, winning trade, and before you even hit 15 minutes, you've got nine wins and you're out. Ain't that awesome, right? But there's sometimes where you you soldier on. After one and a half hour, you only manage to find like five setups, and out of those five setups, you only won one. It's depressing. How could you have done to improve that? All right. By doing a little homework analysis, could have got some feedback. Feedback from the recent market is one. Feedback from a mentor like me in the binary lab and the voice learning group is one. Feedback from other members in the group who are more senior or more successful than you is one. Okay. And let's say feedback from the statistics is one as well. If you haven't watched my video yet about like how to back test and rehearse your trades, you should watch that because it's so valuable information. It shows you, I, I explained to you the concept of tweaking and testing, tweaking and testing and optimizing so that we can include more different setups. All right. So that's what I have for you in this video. Uh, if you like if you like this video if you're watching it at a later time, please like the video drop a comment share the video Because I don't know for whatever reason the Facebook algorithm just sucks so bad That you know the the number of views on, on the Facebook lives. It's just it just You know it goes all over the place so much. I, I can't I can't pin it down, all right? So if you found that it makes sense, you know give me a comment on what what you thought was helpful to you drop in a like uh, share this post bye for now